Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to explain coterminal angles. Well, I already explained coterminal angles in another video, but what I want to show you is how to graph coterminal angles, and that's very important and sometimes tricky. So I'm going to do my best here to draw straight lines, which I think I did a good job on, and then also explain coterminal angles. So the first thing we need to do is we need to know how to graph 7 pi over 6, right? So if I know here's my initial side, here's my, uh, well, I don't know where my terminal side is, but if here's pi, then that's 6 pi over 6, right? So 7 pi over 6 is just going to be one more segment over, which I'm not going to get exact, but we could kind of roughly say is going to be right there, all right? So here's my angle, 7 pi over 6. So if you remember the definition of coterminal angles, that means two angles that have exactly the same um, measure or exactly the same initial and terminal side. So here's my initial and here's my terminal side. Right? So if I have my initial and terminal side, so the first angle I drew goes like this. All right? And that was 7 pi over 6. Now let's see if we can figure out how can we draw two more angles. Well, what if I go in the negative direction? If I go from the initial side, but rather than going positive, I go negative. Uh, I don't want to pick, I want to pick new colors, right? So I could go in the negative direction. I'm going to erase the side. Right? That would also give me an angle that has the same initial and the same terminal side. So how do we find that red one? Well, what we do to find that, um, actually, I'll go through that in a second. The next thing I want to do, eh. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's just talk about it right now. Remember, all the way around a circle is 2 pi, correct? So if I have from here to here to get us there, and then the remaining, if you kind of added these two up, they would give you 2 pi, correct? But I'm not asked, I don't want to know, so yeah, let's think about it. So if I have this angle, which we know is 7 pi over 6, plus this angle, which we don't know, equals 2 pi, right? So I could say, 7 pi over 6 plus this little red angle equals 2 pi, right? This angle plus this angle equals 2 pi. So how do you solve for that red angle? Well, let's solve for x. 7 pi over 6 minus 7 pi over 6. So therefore, x equals now remember to subtract these. You got to make sure that you have them in. Uh, you got to make sure you have uh, them the same denominator. So to subtract two pi over six, I got to get this as a denominator one. I got to get it now as a denominator of six. So I have twelve pi over six minus seven pi over six. Well, twelve pi minus seven pi is going to equal five pi over six. But remember, we're dealing about this in the negative direction, right? This is in a negative angle. So therefore, this angle, even though the value of the angle is positive, we like to take it in the negative direction. So I'm going to make this negative. I'll put that with red so you can remember. It's going to be negative because even though the value of this angle is 5 pi over 6, it's going in the negative direction. So i got to make sure if I solve it like this, uh, we put it in the negative direction. However, another way to look at it is just to always take some pi, or just the other way to do it is just take 7 pi over 6 and then subtract it from 2 pi, and you'll get the same value, but you'll get the negative sign with it. All right, so that's how we find the negative version of the angle. So one coterminal angle in the red, which is negative 5 pi over 6. So how else can we write a coterminal angle here, right? Well, what about I could, what about if I did this? What about if I go to my angle, but then instead of stopping there, I go back around one more time? All right. So if you look at that, you can see, all right, so I went all the way to my angle, and then I did a full revolution, right? From, here, from the terminal side back to the terminal side, I did a full revolution. So you got to think, how long is that? How, <clears throat> how long does it take to do a full revolution? Well, remember, if I was going to look at a circle, from here to here is pi, from here to here is 2 pi. So if I take, hopefully I'm not running out of room, okay. If I take 
7 pi over 6, and then I add 2 pi, that will give me another terminal angle. That will give me a positive, because I already have a negative. So again, to do this, you got to make sure you get common denominators. So we're at 1, so we multiply by 6 over 6. So now I have 7 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6, and that equals 19 pi over 6. So ladies and gentlemen, my third angle, or my third coterminal angle, which is going to be 19 pi over 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you uh, understand now how to do coterminal angles, and I hope this helps you out. Thanks.